It's the second weekend of pheasant season. And so I'm going to cook up one of my favorite dishes. Uh, a lot of people do pheasant just cut up, throwing in a crock pot and cream of mushroom soup, set it on low. This is going to take that idea, only it's going to take it to the next level. Uh, we are going to bake pheasant in a mushroom cream sauce. Um, I've got a couple of pheasants here. I've got some oyster mushrooms that we harvested earlier this year. We've got onion, a little bit of flour, some vegetable oil, chicken broth, salt, pepper, a little bit of rosemary and thyme, and some cream. Uh, we're going to cut up the pheasant. We will dredge it in a little flour, fry it up, and then bake it all in a delicious cream sauce. Uh, hope you enjoy. Gonna start by cutting up the birds. I like to brush them out, debone the thighs, debone the legs. Anything I don't use in this dish, I will save and use later. First thing you want to do is just heat a little bit of oil in a pan. We're going to put about three tablespoons of oil in there. We've got all of our pheasant cut up, uh, washed it really good. Dry it off as good as possible. We're just going to take a bowl. We're going to put our flour in the bowl. We're going to add just a dash of thyme. A little bit of the oregano, or excuse me, rosemary, a little bit of the rosemary. And we're just going to dredge our pheasant pieces in it. That's all we're looking for. While your oil is heating, go ahead and preheat your oven to 375. When your oil is hot, just start laying your pheasant pieces in there to brown. We don't want to cook them all the way, we just want to brown them on both sides. While your pheasant's frying, go ahead and slice up your onion. I like to do big slices. As they start to brown, Flip them over, brown them on both sides. Again, not cooking them all the way through. You may need to add a little more oil to your pan for the next batch, that's totally okay. When they're light brown on both sides, we're gonna go ahead and just take them off. We're gonna move them to a plate and just keep browning. And just keep browning the rest of the pheasant.
get down to that last piece in there. Go ahead and take it out. Shouldn't be a lot of oil left in there. If there is quite a bit, you can take a paper towel, kind of blot up some of that oil. But what we're gonna do is see all these little crunchy brown bits. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take a cup and a half of our chicken broth. We're going to deglaze the pan with that. We're going to turn our heat off. We're going to get all those crunchy bits off the bottom of that pan. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our onion and we're just going to go ahead and start laying that onion in there. Onion's going to act like a, a little bed for the pheasant to rest on. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to start layering our pheasant back into the pan. Normally I would do this with only one pheasant, but since I had two that were thawed out, ready to go, figured I'd just do both of them. Get them nice and snug in there, tuck them in like they're going to bed. If you have to overlap a couple of the smaller pieces, that's okay. I like to just see the chicken broth about halfway up the pheasant pieces. Looks like I need just a little bit more broth. I'm gonna add about another half a cup, so I'll have about two full cups of chicken broth in there. Perfect. I've got my seasonings, rosemary, cracked black pepper, and salt. I'm gonna go ahead and just sprinkle that over everything. Now we're going to take the whole pan, put the whole pan into the oven. We're going to bake it for about 35 to 40 minutes. We're going to leave it uncovered. If you don't have a pan that can go in the oven, you can certainly put this into a baking dish, do the exact same thing in a baking dish. After 35 minutes, we're going to take it out of the oven. That is what it's gonna look like. Now we are going to add <clears throat> our oyster mushrooms that I've already cut up into some smaller pieces. You can use store-bought button mushrooms or whatever mushrooms you wanna use. We really do like our mushrooms, so I'm gonna leave them in big chunks. We're going to take our two cups of heavy whipping cream and we're going to just pour that right over the top of everything. And then this is going to go back in the oven 
for one full hour. Again uncovered. Look at this. That's what she looks like when it comes out of the oven. That cream is bubbling. Mushrooms are nice and toasty on the edges. Then just add a little salt and pepper to your taste. Let it cool for just a minute. This is good served over rice or mashed potatoes or my favorite, some hot buttered noodles. Pheasant super tender, fall apart, that lovely cream sauce. Mm. Once you do pheasant like this, you'll never do it in a crock pot with cream of mushroom soup again. The baked cream, it just gives it a richness, a depth that you can't get out of a crock pot. Pheasant with cream and mushrooms. Pair that with a nice salad and some crusty French bread. It makes one heck of a meal. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like my channel, leave me any comments.